Hey everyone, I am here today just to recommend a really, really great podcast. Uh, probably the best one I've ever listened to, ever, and I listen to a lot when it comes to sugar and processed food and the impact on the body and what's happening. It's wonderful, but listen, please listen. I have one huge hesitation, one huge caveat. <laughs> so I'm gonna link this podcast below. It's very long. Andrew Huberman, if you're familiar with the Huberman Lab podcast, he's fantastic and he's got a lot of followers. Um, I'm not suggesting all his podcasts, but this one he had Dr. Robert Lustig on, who ha I have been following for like 10 years in his work on sugar and its impact on the body and processed food and all that. Um, the actual podcast is three and a half hours long, so don't freak. It took me like a week to get through it, but you guys, it's loaded. If you kind of need or would like to understand a little more of the science, I didn't, I didn't understand all the words he used, but it was so enlightening. It was so enlightening. Um, even if some of it is, is kind of hard to process, it's probably the best one I've ever, ever heard on explaining why we've been kind of wrong when it comes to nutrition and a different perspective on what processed carbs do in our body and what sugar does in our body. It's just so great if, if you maybe would like to have a new why. But here's my big, here's my big issue. Um, at the very end, it's really kind of cool. Andrew Huberman says, okay, what if you could just do one takeaway? Take just one thing for people to take away. Um, Dr. Lustig said, listen, just dump the sugar. Dump the sugar. And I sat there listening, thinking, for those of us that have dealt with addiction or food attachment, as I like to call it on my channel, where we've tried to, we've tried to so many times that that part of the podcast could come across as hopeless. Like, I know, duh, I know that. I've tried to do that. I can't do that. I'm addicted. I'm So that's why I have my channel in an attempt to fill that need. Those podcasts are so great with understanding the why. But the how, how do I detach when I am attached? How do I let go when I've tried a thousand times and I'm addicted? And so, <laughs> so don't get overwhelmed if you hear that part of it and go, um, yeah, I know. Quit trying to shame me because I can't just stop. I've tried. That was my story. I often felt hopeless listening to experts say that because I, I had tried. And so listen, what I'll do is I'll link the podcast below. Um, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. If you want, come back and, and visit and, and comment below. But I'll also include probably like 10 different videos um, from my channel where I talk about how to detach and also a link to my online class, Satisfied, which does that. It's how do I get my soul to detach? Not that I know I should give it up. I mean, most of us are like, yeah, kind of know that. I know I should cut down. I know I should not eat so much processed food. I just don't know how because it goes so deep. And I, it seems like every time I even try, I I just can't do it. <laughs> I sabotage myself or I fail or I can't last more than a few hours. Let me give you some help, some resources for that side of it. Because I didn't walk in, want anyone to walk away from that video feeling more hopeless instead of more empowered. Or from that podcast, not the video. Walk away from that podcast feeling hopeless instead of empowered. You got, you got my... my <laughs> intent there right sorry it's been a week um we are in the middle of moving and selling our house so we'll see what happens with the channel <laughs> it's still gonna be here but things are gonna get a little crazy but anyway go listen to that dive in and then recommend it to people because I think this information is not out there and it will be very helpful and then if you need some support on detaching and getting over the addiction and leaning on a new source being Christ instead of food I'll include those videos below thanks guys hope you enjoy it